Hi everyone, and welcome to my Pod Opinion Cast. Today on the menu, Michael Jackson. Yeah, my name is Gary Harrison, legend, transformational, boundless, Michael Jackson. Subscribe. We're going to get into this. There is nothing natural about the making of child stars. They are little archaeological sites carrying layers of show business history inside them. Fragments of history and tradition. Michael is clearly proud of this. Note the touch of disdain when he writes, Some musicians, Springsteen and the U2, for example, may feel they got their education from the streets. I'm a performer at heart. I got mine from the stage. So this podcast is going to focus primarily on Michael Jackson's coronation. The Billie Jean performance that he performed at the Motown 25th anniversary in 1983 this incredible performance this groundbreaking performance is what we're going to focus on and how did we get here or how did we get there on November 30th 1982 Thriller was released to critical and commercial success on January 2nd 1983, Billie Jean was released as the album's second single. I believe we are powerful, but we don't use our minds to full capacity. Your mind is powerful enough to help you attain whatever you want, says Michael. You have to remember, Michael's coming off the first solo album he did for Epic Records off the wall which sold about 6 million records in America and 4 million worldwide Michael said I believe in wishes and in a person's ability to make a wish come true remember he grew up knowing the industry understanding goals and being told what was and what was not possible one of his main wishes as a young man was to have the biggest selling album of all time. So why wouldn't this be possible? Barry Gordy, founder of Motown Records, said that Michael was driven by his hunger to learn, to constantly top himself, to be the best. He said he was a consummate student who studied the greats and became greater. Till now, all of Michael's success has been about passion, talent, and hard work. The 10,000 hour rule, according to Malcolm Gladwell and other psychologists, it seems that it takes the brain this long to assimilate all that it needs to know to achieve true mastery. Practice isn't the thing you do once you're good. It's the thing you do that makes you good. The other interesting thing about that 10,000 hour rule is that 10,000 hours is an enormous amount of time. It's all but impossible to reach that number all by yourself by the time you're a young adult. So take a look at this from Gary, Indiana. There's this genius kid whose body and voice can absorb anything. A combination of mimicry and inventiveness. And also hard work, of course. The Jackson 5 those days, through various channels, they got a chance to audition for Motown. They did that. They exploded across generations. There's something fascinating about children who can so brilliantly mimic adult virtuosity and performance. 
Michael was alive and enchanting to so many. That's why that Motown performance became the ultimate vessel to display excellence. Quincy Jones, producer, arranger, said they had to create through 800 songs to get to nine. The idea was to get a collection of great songs that sounded like hit after hit after hit. Bruce Swedeen, the engineer of this album, always said that this was going to be a sonic statement. Billy Jean, he said, had sonic personality. Quincy's on the record saying that anyone who says they know how to make an album like Thriller, they are lying. He said you can't plan it. What makes Billie Jean so great? Well, the song opens with a standard drum beat along with a standard hi-hat. And it's joined by two bars later with a shaker. And after two more bars, a repetitive bass line. Incredible. Greg Fillingaines, who played keys, said of the song, Billie Jean is hot on every level. It's hot rhythmically, it's hot sonically. Because the instrumentation is so minimal, you can really hear everything. It's hot melodically, lyrically, and vocally. It affects you physically, emotionally, even spiritually. That's what he said. So, fast forward. Motown 25. Yesterday, today, forever. Originally broadcast on May 15th, 1983. You know, initially, Michael Jackson didn't want to perform. He refused the invitation. Mainly because he said they were exposed so much, him and his brothers in the past, on the Jackson show, in the past. So he wasn't up with it. It's until Mr. Barry Gordy himself, Motown founder, came to him and out of respect Michael said okay he'll appear but he had a catch he wanted to perform a song that was not recorded on Motown that was his latest single Billy Jean that was on Epic Records his performance on the Motown 25th anniversary of Billy Jean placed Michael Jackson against the backdrop of his show business childhood he was in profile as the bass line of Billie Jean rumbled up, legs apart, knees bent, in demi plie, one hand lightly touching his fedora, a hoofer cavalier in a high water pants, eight counts of pelvic thrust turned him into a soul man cavalier, a quick kick and thigh slap on each side, then he faced the audience and smack on the beat, threw his hat into the wings, song and dance man. Then he mimicked a 50s bad boy, giving his hair a quick comb. All the elements of the persona we would come to know were on display. There was passion that stirred the audience, yet felt private and mysterious. The intense theatricality and how he stretched small gestures into long lines of movement. Every choreographer has signature moves and combinations. Here was a core of Jackson style. The angled feet and knocked knees of the funky chicken and the Charleston. Various runs and struts, the corkscrew kicks forward as fast as judo kicks. The spin turns, the moonwalk or the backslide and the sudden crouch when instead of falling to his knees, he rises on his toes. It's a ballet moment. And a small variation on that move shifts the tension when he rises with feet and knees together. He looks powerful with knees together and feet apart. He looks vulnerable, even stricken. You've got to remember that Billy Jean is a song about anxiety and guilt, desire and resentment. Fathering a child and being a child in 
the bridge when he sang, if our mama warned him, be careful what you do, because a lie becomes the truth. He jumped straight into the air three times. The genie in the bottle is a young man who can't control his energies. In the repeat bridge, as he recalled, the smell of sweet perfume. She brought me to her room. He jumped from foot to foot with his knees up like a boy having a tantrum. And finally, as he sang, the expressive arms, arms outstretched, hands pleadingly open, then an emphatic fist or a sudden wrist curl, and a dex finger piercing the air. He brought one hand across his face when he sang. His eyes were like mine, about the mystery child. We saw his round dark eyes through his spread out fingers. He ended stage center, right arm in the air, looking drained, but exalted. He created the show. He was the show. Transformational. Boundless. Michael became transformational this night. The audience was absolutely enthralled by his riveting performance. The anniversary special was watched by over 50 million people and Jackson's routine earned him an Emmy nomination. With the performance, Jackson reached a new audience and increased the sales of Thriller, which eventually became the best-selling album of all time. That being said, I want to thank you for watching. I want to thank you for listening. My name is Gary Harrison. Stay humble and stay hungry. You've been watching Michael Jackson, Transformational, Boundless. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.